I'm Jamal Finkley with Black Tree TV. We're here with Soledad O'Brien, one of my oh, favorite, <laughs> my favorite news anchor women from CNN, and just a great person. Soledad, how does it more, feel? More? more? Yeah. And she's gorgeous. Great Look at her. I mean, she is very gorgeous, <laughs> smart, intelligent. He's good. He's gonna go far. In there we go. So, Soledad. One day I'll be saying, Jamal, how would you like your coffee, Jamal? Jamal, what can I get you, Jamal? Do you want fries with that, Jamal? Are y'all getting this, Soledad? Is Jamal's like, me? are you yeah, rolling yeah, yeah. on this? Right. Right. So, Soledad, I want to ask about Spike Lee. I mean, I know that I you were him. in When the Levees Broke, but I know you've probably been inspired by him before that. How was, how has your career been affected by Spike Lee? You know, one of the things I always got to do when I worked on the Today Show was to do the interview with Spike Lee, whatever movie he had coming out. And what I always loved about him was here was a guy, you know, who, 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 who brought it to the discussion. If we're going to talk about Bamboozled, for example, you know, that was a movie that, you know, was a tough movie to talk about in a lot of ways on national, you know, on the Today Show audience. And he would sit there and have these great discussions about, because Bamboozled is about the media and the media perception of African Americans in this country. And I remember sitting down with him, and, you know, he gave as good as he got, and he did what he did for me was, as a journalist, he made me better because we weren't having one of these conversations around the topic and your movie was so fabulous, I just loved it, oh, thank you, no, thank you. We had a real discussion about the media and black faces on TV because that's the kind of guy Spike is. If you're going to talk to him and you're going to challenge him, you're going to ask him, he's going to give you an answer. And I love that in him as a as a filmmaker. And then as I got to know him, I love that in him as a person. You know, he doesn't pull punches. He's very straightforward. He's having conversations. He had conversations about race that we continue to have today. You know, the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about, Spike Lee was talking about years ago in a very, you know, in your face kind of way. And you know, what I, what I loved when I saw Inside Man, and he, uh, he has a scene where, in the after the um, there's a hostage situation and and there's a guy who's wearing a turban and he gets nabbed by the cops and hauled off to be questioned. They unravel his turban. He's like, "You can't take off my turban. I'm a Sikh Indian. You can't take off my turban." And I thought, here's a guy who is captured post 9/11 America in a two-minute scene. He has captured the entire consciousness of our nation post 9/11. Who is this guy in a turban? He's like, oh, the guy, I think the guy was even saying, I'm an American, I'm an American citizen. You know, but he's a, a Sikh Indian, so he's wearing a turban. And it was an amazing, you know, he's always had those moments in his films where he captures what's going on in our culture. He's a, he's a, it's, he's a master at that, so I, I love that about him. Yeah, I even remember when he did that at 25th Hour, he was the first person to show Ground Zero in 25th Hour. But speaking on media and, and Spike Lee and some of the stuff that he's tackled, let me ask you a question. As a member of the media, when we do uh, these news polls around these presidential candidates and it's like the black people think this or the white women think this or, or uneducated people think this, are, is it really painting a good picture of what America thinks about the candidates? You know, I think at some point you have to break it down. So we do the polls the best way we possibly can. And what you see and, and what you report on is where you see big variations. So you certainly see big variations between black and white. You see big variations between young and old. You see big variations in, uh, in women and men. So that's always been sort of what we've done. I, I think if there's, you know, if everything's really close, uh, unless, that, unless that's part of the story, you know, you don't necessarily talk about it. So I, I honestly, as a person who focuses on exit polls, I, I think that's very fair. I really do. Well, I know you got to go so that, but thank you for taking the time to talk to Black Tree TV.